In this video, we are going to learn how to use shortcut trick to solve problems involving arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence in seconds. Now, this video will be very useful to you if you are writing board exams like GCSE, A level maths, and the rest of them. Even if you are a college student or high school student writing algebra exam involving multiple choice questions on arithmetic progression of sequence, this video will also be very useful to you. Okay, so let's solve this problem. In this question, we have the C8 to be so we have the t12 to be 10. to solve this problem now the trick will be you do c12 minus c8 times the common difference which is unknown equals 10 minus 2 okay this thing means that the 12th term minus the eighth term times common difference because 10 minus 2. If we simplify, we're going to have 12 minus 8 will give us 4 times the common difference. Therefore, d equals 8 divided both sides by 4. So our common difference will be 2. Alright? Now that we have a common difference will be 2, to get the first term, all you have to do will be remember that the general formula for arithmetic sequence is a plus n minus 1 t. Since we have the 8th term and the 12th term respectively, let's use the 8th term to get it. So, 8th term will be a plus 8 minus 1d equals 2, which is a plus 7d equals 2. Now that we have the common difference to be 2, it's going to be a plus 7 times 2 equals 2, so which will be a plus 14 equals what 2. So to make it a solid formula crossover, so a will be 2 minus 14, which will give us what? Minus 12. So the first term is minus 12. Now to get the fifth term, it's going to be a plus 4d, since it's the fifth term. So our a here is what? Minus 12, which will be minus 12 plus 4, but d is what? 2 times 2, which will give us minus 12 plus 8. Therefore, the fifth time T5 will be minus 12 plus 8 will give us minus 4. So that will be the answer. This is basically how you can solve problems on arithmetic progression with shortcut trick. So I hope this video will be useful to you in your board exams like GCSC, A-level maths, and the rest of them. Okay, so that's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, show you the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you have learned. If you seem to have any specific questions, ask feel free to leave your question in the comment section below, and I will ensure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching.